Okay, here we are. Um, we're going to discuss how to um, install and build the uh, test circuit board. Um, the test circuit board is um, a demonstration circuit because we want to teach students the difference between relays. This is a single pole, single throw relay. This is a double pole, double throw relay. And we can do, um, we can control different parts of the car with that. So the goal here is to build a little test circuit that would prevent the car from driving away if it was plugged in. So it's a very, very simple circuit. Um, but when you turn the key on and the car is not plugged in, the green light comes on and the buzzer sounds to simulate, simulate the motor. Um, if you turn the key on and you actually have the charger um, plugged in, we're simulating the charger being plugged in, the charger light will be on, the, the motor won't start, and the green light won't come on. So, you also get a drawing um, that tells you how everything goes. It kind of works with the key. The color codes for the drawing um, match the key. So if you just pay really close attention to where, you, um, where the yellow wire goes here, you find the yellow wire in there and it will um, match up correctly for you. Remember I said it does come with a wiring harness and it has all the wires that you need with the proper terminals on the end, but the idea is for the students to look at the drawing and make their own wires. So you would want to have a wire that comes from the battery side of the key switch and it goes all the way around and it eventually gets to the battery. Um, and it takes the yellow wire that's from the ignition side and it goes to pin number one on this relay. That's pin number one is right here. If you look in this relay when you receive your relays, the, the numbering goes one, two is blank, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these two are what's called the coil. So as you learn a little bit more about relays, that all becomes clear. But you'll need to see that number one is the hot wire, and it goes down, and that's the one that actually gets and eventually makes the key come on and the buzzer come on and the green light come on. The key is turned. So the idea is to start uh, with the drawing, and if you have any difficulties figuring it out with the drawing, then you can always go to your, your key, your master set, and you should have every wire that you need to build the unit. Next we're going to go ahead and look at um, terminating the wires and putting them all into place. So here I'm, I've pulled out the key and I'm going to start attaching the wires. All of the wires on the key have the, the mating terminals for the wires that are already on the panel. So when you're looking for wires, if there's two yellow wires, uh, one of the yellow wires might have a male end on it so it'll have to match up with the female spade on the other end. So we're going to just go through now, connect all the wires, and um, I'm looking at the drawing and I'm looking at the wires, and I'm going to go ahead and, and make sure that all the pieces end up in the right place. It's helpful to go ahead and uh, make sure all of the, the components are, are attached firmly to the board. You can see now that I'm starting to put a couple of the wires on the relays. Um, again, constantly looking at the at the drawing to make sure I plug the right wires into the right spades and terminals. So we're we're getting kind of close now. I'm plugging in the wires to the um, well. We're going to attach to the key switch right there. And that's the yellow wire that's going to go down and, and end up ultimately being the hot wire that takes the current to the uh, fuse panel. Red wire, what do you mean? Now we have the red wire that attaches to the battery side of the key switch. And it's a little tight with big fingers, but we can get it done there, put that nut on nice and firm.
Okay, we're attaching to the toggle switch. Um, we swapped out the, the uh, toggle switch. We used to have a spade style connector and we switched to a screw style. So the wire wasn't the right, didn't have the right terminal on it. But now we put it in there and now we're gonna re return the toggle switch and put the holder nut on. And um, now we can tell that our charger is plugged in or not. Okay, I'm looking at the diagram. Seems like the uh, toggle switch is now connected. And uh, most of the wires are in place. I'm now hooking the wire onto the coil of the double throw, double pull relay. The double throw, double pull relay has a normally open and a normally closed circuit with pins seven and nine as the common pins. Seven and nine are the two bottom terminals on the uh, relay just above the coil. And the white wire is going into the light to show that the charger is plugged in. And um, must be just about finished. We've only got one white wire left. You notice we're sourcing at the fuse panel. Whenever you're fusing something, you always want to fuse as close to the source of power as possible. So that's the fuse for the green light. Um, and so that if there is a problem with the fuse, it'll, it'll blow as close to the source of power as possible. The motor has round connectors that are a little different kind. They're kind of push on um, male and female connectors. Push that in nice and tight. Um, and we should have one more to connect. That's connecting to the single throw, single pole relay. Which actually controls the power to the fuse panel. That's a common power switch. We're gonna take a cable that we made with alligator clips on it. And we're gonna connect it to the ground of the battery, which we marked as negative, and then there's a common junction, negative ends, and the positive. Notice we put a fuse in that cable too, just in case something happens. Um, we like to fuse. Never hurts to have too many fuses. Again, as close to the power as possible. And we're gonna attach that to the common positive post. Let's turn it on. Green lights on. Charger's on. Vehicle's charging. And if I turn the key on, nothing happens. So now I'm going to simulate unplugging the charger. And that's how your circuit board should work. Charger off, green light on, motor on. Charger on, nothing. So we've learned a couple of things. We've learned about a single throw, single pole relay. Very familiar, very common in automotive. We have a double throw, double pole relay. And we have some fuses. We've terminated some wires. Um, we've got a few lights working. 
interestingly enough, if we do this backwards, the lights still work, but the buzzer won't work because the buzzer has, is sensitive to which direction the electricity is flowing. You'll find that to be true with LED lights as well, that they won't work if the polarity is reversed on the battery. And that concludes our demonstration for today.